Welcome back everybody, this is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique, and today we're gonna talk about how long should your diet last. Alright everybody, welcome back. I hope you are all getting back into the swing of things after the holidays. I know that I am, um, although there's a ton coming up. But today I wanted to talk about how long should your diet last. Now, I think there's kind of two answers to this question. And I'll cover the, the quick one and the easy one first is if you are in prep, your diet is going to last as long as you need it to, to get as shredded as you needed to until you're done your competition season, right? Um, minimum, I think there is a minimum that a diet should be, and that should be about depending. There is some depending on, you know, mine was only like 18 weeks. That was pretty short. That probably wasn't long enough, um, although it worked out. Um, I think I next time I would have done it or I will do it a little bit longer um, but minimum 20 weeks I would say um, and even then I think you would talk to some people and like that's not even long enough we see now some natural competitors going 30 40 weeks which is granted quite long but as a natural competitor that's just kind of what it takes to preserve as much lean muscle as possible and then to be able to achieve those levels of conditioning. So that's kind of the easy one. For, for someone who's in prep, it's going to last as long as it needs to last. Um, that's just kind of the reality of it. Obviously, you know, you're not gonna probably do a full year, um, although some, again, like I said, some are reaching those levels. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty simple. But if you're a general population person who just wants to get leaner, how long should your diet last? Should you be going those 40 weeks, 30 weeks of dieting? Probably not. That's probably going to be for 95% of the general population out there going to be far too long to diet. It's going to be far too long psychologically. It's going to be far too long physiologically. Most people who want to start a diet just don't have enough food to really diet that long for or the mental capacity to diet for that long. Like dieting is hard. Dieting is not easy, right? I think if you are trying to diet through the holidays, for example, you are going to see you have to stay on track through the holidays. We don't really, if you want to keep making progress, we don't have a lot of room to actually play with. You can't really enjoy yourself during the holidays. You can't really eat those three cookies because we do need to stay within our numbers. And so, we do have to find that balance of, okay, I want to drop such and such weight, but we don't want to be sitting there for 25, 30 weeks, you know, continually dieting because we're going to get to a point where the body's defense mechanisms are just going to go up, get through the roof, and you're just not going to be able to lose body fat anymore. And your food is going to get so low to a point where you're just not going to want to do this anymore. You're going to feel miserable. You're, it's not going to be fun anymore. Now, dieting can be a little fun you know, at the beginning, but as the grind continues, dieting gets less and less fun, less and less sexy as cardio starts to go up and food starts to come down. Now, if you're general population, there's no reason to get your cardio up to you know, 60, 70 minutes a day. Like Most people are not going to want to do that, right? And so we start to see those levels, again, depending on the person, once we start hitting that 20, 21, 22 week mark, um, depending on how lean you're getting, how low your food is, and then most people don't really want to get that low with their food either. They don't want 110, 120 grams of carbs. Like, that's really, really low for a lot of people. And so, depending on the rate of weight loss, and it also depends on the person's makeup, I typically go, you know, 15 weeks right in there, okay? Like, I mean, we could do plus or minus, 15 weeks, but that's kind of what I find to be that magic number of weeks of dieting as long as that person is, you know, set up for it, they're consistent throughout each and every single week, right? The less consistent you are, well, the longer that we have to go, the less food that we're going to get and the more cardio that we're going to have to do. 
But as long as that person is consistent, I have found about 15 weeks is where people really start to kind of, okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting done there. Now, I'll always push the person if they want to be pushed. I tell them, okay, like these are what I look for. So I look for, how's your energy in the gym? How's your energy outside of the gym? How's your mood? How's your sleep? Things like this can really tell you where a person is at with their dieting phase. Now, if sleep is starting to get worse, um, maybe they're a little more emotional uh, than they're used to, right? A little more hangry. Uh, energy outside of the gym is really being affected. The energy inside the gym, you know, that is going to be affected to a certain point. And I, you know, I would like most people to kind of try and push through that. I think that's a good uh, mental builder. Um, but once we really start to see energy affected outside of the gym, that's kind of like, okay, maybe we're starting to get towards the end, right? We have to listen to our bodies. I want to listen to my clients and, and where they're like, okay, well, I could push another week despite feeling miserable. Okay, let's push one more week. Let's get maybe that extra, you know, that one more pound, maybe that two more pounds, and then let's pull you out of it. So Again, it is dependent on a person. There is no hard answer on how long a diet should last, other than you should not be spending the majority of your life in a diet. That's for damn sure, right? Like, we should not be dieting, you know, year in, year out. Like, let's say you diet for, 50, you know, 20, 30 weeks, you should at least have a minimum of 20, 30 weeks of reverse dieting before you would even think about dieting again, right? Like, so that is kind of the hard line there, but in general, there is not going to be a super hard line where we stop dieting. It is going to be dependent on the person, how consistent they can be and how hard they can push themselves. Everyone's a little different and that's totally fine. But I do find that roughly on average, as long as the person is consistent, about 15 weeks is good for the majority of people. And then we spend, you know, 15, 20, you know, 25 weeks reverse dieting, you know, and then, okay, let's reevaluate there. Do we want to start dieting again? Or are we just having so much fun in the reverse, which you should be, and let's just keep reversing. Remember, where we really set ourselves up for a fantastic dieting phase, where we really set up a fantastic physique is reversing. And then when we diet, we can reveal everything that we've been building, right? Always build, build, build spend the majority of your life in a reverse diet. I know that is very counterintuitive, counter, not counterproductive, that's, it is productive to, to spend the majority of your time in a surplus, but it's very counterintuitive to what a lot of people think. It is easier to lose body fat when we spend the majority of our time not dieting. Yes, okay? So that's gonna be it for today, guys. About roughly 15 weeks, again, depending on where you're at, where that person's at, um, metabolism, cardio, you know, how much cardio they're doing, their dieting history, but that's where about where we at, are at. That's about how long a diet should last, give or take a few weeks. Okay, guys, that is everything. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have if you have any questions or if there's anything that you would like to see answered in future videos, just be sure to leave a question down below and I'll be sure to get to those. Have a fantastic Wednesday.